Hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you the ultimate radar settings and an overall important find, which makes your CS life much easier. Of course, radar settings are a matter of taste, but in any case you should always be prepared for any situation in the game. Whether you're playing with the radar settings zoomed out and struggling with smoke plays, or you're playing with the radar settings zoomed in and struggling to get a good view of what's happening on the other side of the map, there's a simple solution. However, you should avoid using your scoreboard to see the entire overview map. Doing so always disturbs your view of the much more important scenes in the game. If you use the binding at the wrong moment, everything can go wrong. Instead, use this binding to switch from the zoomed in to the zoomed out radar setting and never miss what's happening in front of you again. This way you can use your radar to have a good view in smoke games or direct game situations, and also switch to have a better overview of what is happening on the other side of the map without being disturbed by the scoreboard. I'll show you the exact binding at the end of the video. But first I'll explain all the necessary radar settings in the game settings and the corresponding console commands. With radar always centered you can either center your position on the radar or center the radar itself. If you set it to true, you will see less of the map when you are at the edge of the map. The setting radar is rotating speaks for itself. The radar will either turn in the direction you are facing or it will not turn at all. I think this setting is purely a matter of taste, and you can get used to both options. You can change the size of the radar HUD from 0.8 to 1.3, which only changes the size of the radar. You should choose a value that feels comfortable to you and does not affect too much your overall view of the game scene. You also can zoom in and out of the map. In the game settings there is the option to choose between 0.4 and 1.0, but if you use the console command for the radar scale, you can even go below 0.4 to 0.25. In my opinion, this is the most important setting as you have to decide whether you want to see your surrounding in more detail, or would rather have a better overview of the map. Both options are fine and I will explain later that you should combine both options with an appropriate binding to have a good map overview and also the ability to focus on your surroundings. I would recommend the following settings as almost all pro players prefer to play with radar-centered player, rotating radar and HUD size 1.0. Players like Rops, Twists and Zy will play with map zoom between 0.6 and 0.8. I prefer 0.65. But as mentioned before, it's up to you if you want to have a better overview or a more detailed view. Players like Nico, Cadian or Frozen, for example play with values between 0.25 and 0.4. If you want to toggle the shape of the radar with your scoreboard binding is also a matter of taste, and I'll come back to this setting later, but I prefer to turn it off. With map zoom 0.65 you have a detailed view of your surroundings and can also see the sound indication circles when you run, jump or zoom. Now let's take a look at the bind you should use to switch between the detailed view and map overview. Use any key for the binding and of course exchange the values with your own settings. You can find the binding on our website, and in the video description. Use this binding to switch from the zoomed in to the zoomed out radar setting and never miss what's happening in front of you again. This way you can use your radar to have a good view in smoke games or direct game situations, and also switch to have a better overview of what is happening on the other side of the map without being disturbed by the scoreboard. Regarding the square scoreboard setting, I recommend not using it, otherwise you will always have to adjust to a different radar when using your scoreboard binding. The binding can be used in both ways. When you play detailed radar settings, you leave your radar as it is when you are doing a smoke play. You can maneuver through the smoke without having any vision. Just focus on your radar and avoid getting stuck on obstacles. Then, if you want to see your teammates or anything on the other side of the map, just press the bind. Smoke plays can be very useful, especially if the smoke hasn't landed in the perfect spot or has been spread out to give you an advantage. Here, for example, you can move out of long doors without being seen by CTs at long corner or in the pit. When playing with zoomed out radar settings, always use the binding before a smoke play. There are two other settings that can be useful. You can use safe zone X and Y to make the entire HUD smaller. I hope that this video has helped you to find the best radar settings for you and that you can take advantage of them.